What if I told you that your shampoo may be the culprit of your acne breakouts? Let me explain. Face breaking out? Suffering from maskne? What if I told you that your shampoo may be the cause of your acne breakouts? Yep, today we are talking all about acne. You've tried every cream, lotion, and potion, and you have spent hundreds of dollars on facials and practically live at the dermatologist's office, but those stubborn breakouts just won't go away. Today, I'm here to share with you six major things you are probably doing wrong. Yep, these six things are probably preventing you from achieving that clear complexion once and for all. Not to worry, today I'm going over your acne treatment mistakes. Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Jordan Wagner. I'm an emergency room doctor who treats everything from COVID to gunshot wounds and burns, you name it. I've created this video series to help answer some of your medical questions and the questions I get asked from patients each and every day. If you find this video helpful, please do me a favor and subscribe. All right. Here we go. Let's talk about the six things that could be causing your breakouts. Number one, you try a new acne product every week. For starters, this approach can irritate your skin, which can then in turn cause breakouts. Also, washing your face throughout the day can irritate your skin and cause acne breakouts. Once you start a new acne product, give that acne treatment time to work. You wanna use a product for six to eight weeks, unless you're having some sort of crazy reaction. It takes about six to eight weeks to see some improvement in your complexion when starting a new regimen. If you don't see any improvement by then, you can then try another product. Keep in mind, complete clearing generally takes three to four months. Number two, spot treating acne. It makes sense to treat what you see, but this approach fails to prevent new breakouts. To prevent new blemishes, spread a thin layer of acne medication evenly over your entire acne prone skin. So for instance, if you tend to break out on your forehead, try applying the acne treatment to that one specific area, not just a single spot. And also also, not just once it's erupted, prevention is key. Number three, using products that are non-comedogenic, huh? Has it ever occurred to you that your shampoo might actually be causing you to break out? Yes, along with skincare products and makeup, hair care products contain oil and other ingredients that can cause acne breakouts as well. Try to opt for hair care products that are labeled non-comedogenic, meaning won't clog pores. These are the safest bet. Also, quick side note, the term oil-free does not mean it doesn't clog pores. It just indicates that the formula is lighter. Number four, acne treatment mistake, sleeping in your makeup. I don't care how much the label on your makeup promises that it won't break you out or it's oil-free, etc., etc. Even non-comedogenic or won't clog pores claiming makeup can cause acne if you sleep in it. Regardless of how tired or buzzed you might be, make every effort to remove your makeup. I mean, the least you can do is run a makeup remover wipe over your face before hitting the pillow. It's better than nothing and your skin will thank you in the morning. Number five, scrubbing the acne away. Yes, we've all seen them before. They look so tempting, don't they? You think, oh, I'll just scrub the dirt right out of my face? Maybe you even have them in your bathroom right now. Those electronic scrubbing brushes, face scrubs, any of those exfoliating devices. Not a big fan. Scrubbing can irritate your skin, causing acne to flare and can possibly even drive bacteria further into your skin. Be gentle when washing your face and other skin that has acne. You want to use a mild non-comedogenic cleanser. Apply the cleanser lightly with your fingertips using a circular motion, then rinse it off with warm water. Number six, popping, squeezing, or picking at your breakouts. When you pop or squeeze acne, you're likely to push some of what's inside, pus, dead skin cells, or bacteria deeper into your skin. Also, you're just adding more bacteria to your skin by touching your face with probably unwashed hands. When you pick at your face, you increase inflammation. This can lead to more noticeable acne and sometimes scarring and pain. Many people can control their acne by following these skincare tips and using an acne treatment that they can easily buy without a prescription. However, if you continue to see acne after giving these tips a chance to work, a dermatologist can certainly help guide you even more, as some people do need prescription strength acne treatment. With the right help and skin awareness, virtually everyone who has acne can achieve clearer skin. 
All right, that's been a quick acne busting breakdown with me, Dr. Wagner. Do you have any skin hacks or acne treatments that you swear by? Please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And make sure you subscribe and turn your bell notifications on. When you do that and hit that like button, you let YouTube know that you'd like to see more videos like this one. All right, thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.